Hey everyone, it's Brad. Happy NFL Sunday. It's the first Sunday of the year where we have football on TV. It's exciting. I'm just glad it's here after this crazy 2020. With that in mind, I was thinking, how can we invest in sports teams? So I took a look. Um, let's jump into the computer. All right, so we are in the computer. I got to start off with the NFL, right? Because it's Football Sunday, we've got football on today, finally, so let's start with that sport. Um, unfortunately, there are no teams in the NFL that are traded publicly. Uh, that said, the Green Bay Packers do offer shares every once in a while. Uh, that said, their shares are basically worthless, so you're just donating your money to the team uh, maybe you get like a little certificate or something that you hang on your wall, uh, make you feel good or something. But you're just giving away your money uh, so that they can go and pay Aaron Rodgers a ton of money or something like that. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, no teams in the NFL that you can invest directly in. Uh, moving on to other sports. And, uh, okay, so by the way, I found this article uh, just by Googling uh, how to invest in sports. Uh, I came up with a Motley Fool article. Uh, there's another one that I that I found as well that I'm going to show you guys in a second. Uh, so a couple of good articles on the Motley Fool if you just want to Google them yourself. Um, okay, moving on to some of the other sports. So if you um, are a fan of baseball, you want to get into some baseball teams, you got the Toronto Blue Jays, you've got the Atlanta Braves that you can invest in. Um, if you are a basketball fan or you want to invest in basketball, you could go with Madison Square Gardens. They have, uh, they own the New York Knicks. They also own, uh, not shown here, I'm pretty sure they own the Rangers if you want to get into hockey. Uh, or if you want to get into the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, the hockey route, you can go with uh, Rogers Communications as well. Rogers Communications is pretty cool because it's it's like all of the major Toronto sports teams. So you got the Blue Jays for for uh, baseball, you got the Raptors for basketball, you got the Maple Leafs for hockey. So that's pretty neat. And then the same thing with Madison Square Garden, they got the Knicks and the Rangers. So if you're just a you know you're a New York guy uh, and you just you know you want to invest in your teams that might be a good way to go uh, if you're a fan of the Atlanta teams you can go with the Braves at this tick that's actually not the right ticker I will leave you the correct stock tickers in the description below uh, don't go with these some of these are wrong and then uh, Manchester United if you're a, a soccer fan uh, you can invest in M-A-N-U. That's actually the correct ticker for that one. Um, so you got a couple of different routes you can go. Very specific teams to invest in. Uh, there's not a whole lot out there for professional sports. If you're a fan of, say, like me, I like all my Tampa Bay teams and uh, Orlando teams. There's really no, not a whole lot of direct options for me to invest in that. That said, you can invest indirectly by going with some of these um, companies that show sports content on TV, like Viacom, CBS, Disney, Comcast. Don't forget, Disney owns ESPN, so they have huge exposure to all of these sports um, networks or, or teams and, and um, leagues and things like that. So um, that's a pretty good way to go if you want to just kind of diversify across all the teams. You're also getting all kinds of other stuff in there with Disney if you go with them though. So um, you have to be comfortable with, you know, their uh, amusement parks, their cruise lines, they have their movies, their streaming service. I mean, they've just got everything these days. They got the Star Wars franchise, they got the Marvel franchise, all that stuff. So it's crazy how much they have. Um, so you're gonna be diversifying a lot if you go with them. Uh, but I like Disney a lot. I think that's a good play. Uh, so looking at some of the charts for some of these guys, like Rogers Communications, that's the uh, Toronto sports um, ticker. So if you want to go with them, this is over five years. All these tickers uh, are getting hit by the uh, pandemic, by the way, because we, you know, 
they stopped all sports when COVID hit. So they all took a big hit, uh, just like almost the entire market. So um, could be, you know, a good value play right now. Um, this is Liberty Braves. So the Atlanta Braves are still beat up a little bit from COVID. Madison Square Garden, you got all your New York teams. Manchester United. Manchester United hasn't really done all that well uh, for a long time now. So, um, you know, maybe you're a maybe you're a Manchester United fan or just a soccer fan in general, and you just want to be invested in them just because you're a fan, or you think they're gonna uh, start doing really well soon. But looking at this chart, there's just not a whole lot going on here. It's been kind of flat for this is a five-year chart. If you go back. The max only goes back another year or two, but it's really not a whole lot going on there for, for soccer anyway. And then this is the chart for Disney. Um, so absolutely just rocked by COVID, but they've come back really strong. So they're opening their amusement parks and stuff like that. So that's about it. Those are your options, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. If I miss something, um, let me know. And... Um, Please, if you can, if you enjoyed this content, like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. Thanks.